It strikes me that there's a considerable amount of bullshit going on here, and there's just a few things that I'd like to clear up, all right? Number one, it's not my fault that the play was lousy, okay? Number two, it sure as hell isn't my fault that you didn't turn out to be an actress. And the sooner you get over that little piece of soap opera, the better off we're both going to be. Number three, I don't happen to fit the role of dumb, insensitive suburban husband. You've been trying to lay that crap on me ever since we moved out here, and I'm damned if I'll wear it. Number four, April! April! What the hell are you doing? Get back in the car! No! I will in a minute. Just let me stand here for a second. God damn it. April, can you please just get back in the car and talk about this instead of running all over Route 12? Haven't I made it clear I don't particularly want to talk about it, okay? I mean, Jesus, I'm trying to be nice about this thing here, for God's sake. Oh, how kind of you. How terribly, terribly kind of you. Wait a minute, I don't deserve this. But you're always so wonderfully definite on the subject of what you do and don't deserve. Wait a minute. Wait a goddamn... April, now you listen to me. This is one time you're not going to get away with twisting everything that I say, April. This just happens to be one goddamn time. I know I'm not in the wrong here. Christ, I wish you'd stayed home. You know what you are when you're like this, April? You're sick. I really mean that you're sick. And do you know what you are? What? You're disgusting. Oh, yeah? You don't fool me, Frank. Just because you got me safely in this little trap, you think you can bully me into feeling whatever you, you want me to feel. in a trap. Yes. You yes. in a trap. Me, Jesus Frank. Christ. Me. Don't make me laugh. You're pathetic, self-deluded little boy. Look at you. Look at you and tell me how by any stretch of the imagination you can call yourself a man. Fuck. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Christ! 